ಯಕ್ಷಸ್ವರೂಪಾಯ ಜಟಾಧರಾಯ ಪಿನಾಕಹಸ್ತಾಯ ಸನಾತನಾಯ ದಿವ್ಯಾಯ ದೇವಾಯ ದಿಗಂಬರಾಯ ತಸ್ಮೈಯಕಾರಾಯ ನಮ ಶಿವಾಯ ರುದ್ರಸಂಹಿತ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿಕಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ಯೂ ಮೋರ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋಸ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಸೀ ದ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ರುದ್ರಸಂಹಿತ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಫೈವ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿಕಂಡ್ ಸತೀಕಂಡ್ ಪಾರ್ವತೀಕಂಡ್ ಕುಮಾರಕಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯುದ್ಧಕಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ we will see a part of the content of srishtikand here sutamuni narrates the story of narada's attachment and lust and how it happened to be destroyed victory of narada over kamadeva once upon a time narada was performing penance in the cave of himalaya mountain lord shiva too was performing penance nearby lord indra sent kamadeva to destroy the penance of narada but he could not succeed because of the presence of lord shiva narada mistook the event and became arrogant that he had defeated kamadeva on his own narada went to brahma loka and vaikuntha to boast about his power lord vishnu desired to subdue narada's inflated ego with the blessings of lord shiva on his way back narada came across a beautiful city ruled by shilanidhi who had a beautiful daughter on the request of the king narada studied the palm of his daughter and became infatuated by the princess he wanted to marry her so he requested vishnu to make him handsome but vishnu made him handsome but with a monkey face narada attended the swayamvara but was not chosen by the princess some of the shiva's gana made him realize that he had a monkey face narada became furious and cursed the marud ganas to be born as demons then he went on to curse lord vishnu that he too would suffer separation from his wife during his incarnation of rama and a monkey would come to his help lord vishnu accepted narada's curse and removed his illusionary power now narada regretted his action and realized shiva's divine power and went to lord brahma and requested him to tell about the divinity of shiva Brahma preaches Narada on the origin of Vishnu and Brahma. Brahma says to Narada that during the period of Mahapralaya nothing existed except Shiva. The power manifested from Shiva was called Ambika. Ambika is the cause of the whole world and nature. Then Shiva created a Shiva loka called Kashi which is the abode of Shiva and Parvati. The unified energy of Shiva and Ambika resulted into a radiant physical form of a child. Lord Shiva named the child as Vishnu and advised him to do penance which would help him to attain all kinds of accomplishments. He then offered him the knowledge of Vedas through his breath. Yasya Nishvasitam Vedaha Vishnu followed the instruction of Shiva and did tremendous penance. By the blessings of Shiva, numerous fountains of streams erupted from his body which spread in all directions. As Vishnu slept in the streams, he came to be known as narayana after that five elements manifested from his self the three qualities sattva rajas and tamas as well as ego manifested from his body panchatan mantras panchabhuta five sense organs of action manifested from him in all 24 types of elements manifested from the body of shri vishnu brahma continued to tell narada that while vishnu was sleeping a lotus flower manifested from the navel of vishnu according to the wish of shiva on that lotus brahma with four heads was seated brahma too did penance for 12 years being pleased lord vishnu manifested before him in his chaturbhuja form shiva ends brahma vishnu dispute a dispute between brahma and vishnu ensued as brahma considered himself to be the creator but vishnu had created brahma and the whole world now a shivalinga manifested between them to end the battle between them this shivalinga had destroyed their pride shabda brahma they heard the sound om shiva appeared in the form of a sage and gave the knowledge regarding om he revealed to them that brahma originated from the letter a vishnu from the letter u and shiva from the letter ma The letter A signifies creation, U signifies nurturement and Ma signifies salvation. All the three united from which manifested a golden egg which remained submerged in the water for thousand years. The Almighty then cut that egg into two halves 
from which appeared heaven and earth the divine beauty of maheshwar was seen then all the vowels and consonants emanated from the physique of mahadeva vishnu saw the 48 letters within omkar in the form of two mantras tat purushaya vidmahe mahadevaya dhimahi tanno rudra prachodayat and tat savitur varenyam vargo devasya dhimahi dhiyo yona prachodayat after that important mantras like mahamrutyunjaya mantra om namah shivaya etc were received by them lord shiva revealed to them that vishnu had manifested from the left portion and brahma from the right portion of his body shiva would manifest his incarnation of rudra from their bodies he also revealed that uma saraswati and lakshmi would be the consorts of shiva brahma and vishnu respectively brahma's day and night each consisted of 4000 eras brahma's age was 100 years one day of vishnu is equivalent to one year of brahma one day of rudra is equivalent to one year of vishnu their ages too were fixed to be 100 years the methods of worshiping shiva a devotee should get up early in the morning and contemplate on shiva after that he should finish his daily routine work and perform rituals like sandhya and vandana after that he should worship shivalinga according to the vedic rites like panchopachar shodashopachar etc he should also perform abhisheka with various offerings at last he should beg pardon for his sins all the deities at the behest of vishnu prayed to lord shiva who after becoming pleased instructed vishwakarma to construct a shivalinga for them kubera was given a shivalinga dharmaraj was given a shivalinga of yellow diamond a shivalinga of dark colored diamond for varuna a shivalinga of diamond for vishnu and a golden shivalinga for brahma vishwadeva was given silver shivalinga ashwini kumaras were given bronze shivalinga lakshmi was given a crystal shivalinga the sun god was given copper shivalinga and the moon god was given a pearl shivalinga the rudra samhita will be continued in the next video om namah shivaya